All right, Andrew, this is you. All right, just get lower. Just get lower. So we just talked about this Richie James, like, like, right. You just saw this. If you just saw this one on the other live, hopefully I still have it up. I don't know if I do. Um, so look how, look at his pad level. Yeah, Drew, I got you. Drew Lepre. All right. Andrew Cochran. See, look at his pad level. See that right there. And now look at you. See how high you are. You need to really throw your body into this. All right, your left foot has got to be the trigger step. So it's got to be a violent, you're going near inside. You're violently slamming that inside foot in the ground. You're going drop one, two, three, which is not bad. I want you to go snap one, two. So snap down that left foot and it's got to be snap one, two, left, right, left, and just get way lower. Okay, and like I said, we're going to fly through. So So same thing. It's going to be the same coaching points as you kind of get through it. So really slam your body forward. Start on the right side of the cone. Just run straight. Throw your body into it. Really throw your body. Oh, this is not you? Who the hell is this? Who was that then? Is this Logan? Oh. Who was that? <laughs> was that Graham? Graham, was that you? Anyway. Whoever that was, the coaching points still apply. Now I don't know who's who, so fuck it. Yeah, that had to be you, Graham. Oh, all right, Graham, that was you. All right, so Graham, you see that? My fault, Andrew. All right, so same thing, Graham. Just get, just get lower. Just get lower. Really slam your feet down, right? And really just like, you know, just really commit to this more. When you're running 14 yards full speed, it's going to take you a lot more to get in and out. See how much you're reaching there? So look at this, right? You're right underneath yourself. See how you're not reaching? You're right underneath yourself. That's good, Graham. Right underneath yourself, that's good. But now look how you see how you're not matching that foot placement? Right? I don't want you to reach. I don't want this full extension where your your body, your 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 leg is outside your framework. I want you to push off right underneath you. So you have to match this foot placement, whatever this feels like. It's got to feel exactly the same here. You got me. And then as you get comfortable, you'll open it up more and more. This one's actually better. That left foot transition is much quicker because of that. So Graham, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, this is you too, Graham, or no? I hope so. Maybe not. Andrew, is this you? Who is this now? Because whatever that releases, I don't like. Andrew, is this you? So this is this is a false step, guys. We never want we. There's never really a release except for the high level of Graham. This is you. So listen, don't don't do that. This all all you just did right here was raise your chest, take two steps, and then not go anywhere. So you gave the DB the whole advantage. And then you just got to run. You got to really run and commit to this, and then stick it. That's not bad. Fix that release first and foremost. All right. Graham, this is you now, right? I mean, Graham, Andrew, this is you now, right? Hopefully. This is your stance and start. It's pretty good. No, that's not you. Who is this? All right. So this, this fucking system that we got going on is not working out. If that's not you. All right. Well, from now on, guys, I, I can't. I can't do these. These. I. I can't. I can't do these million emails. Andrew, this is. This is literally downloading as you, Andrew Cochran. It is me. Okay. You guys got to try and send me these in one file. All right, Sansa, start. This is pretty good. Rolling off it. No wasted movement. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Just keep running. Don't try and stop yourself so soon. Be relaxed. That's not bad. As long as you're comfortable, you just look a little uncomfortable. But as long as you're comfortable, like you're getting out of there with no wasted movement. So I like it. Uh, I'm 
this is all the same thing. Okay, great. You sent these to me twice also. My fault, guys. Let me just download some of these. All right, from now on, listen, all you guys, you, you got to send these to me in one in one clip. Uh, and this isn't your fault, Andrew, because I told you this was fine. But just now that we're doing this and we got a thousand people who sent film in. Uh, can we talk about the different release I can use when doing the blaze out? Graham, you would never use a release on a blaze out. It's only versus loose coverage. How are you going to work a release, take a post stem, and then go out without the quarterback getting stacked? You don't use releases on blaze outs. All right, so the point of this drill, Andrew, is to stop yourself, right? You're not stopping. You're just sliding through this. Like, you got to slam these feet in the ground and stop yourself. You're just kind of, like, gliding into it and then, like, luckily stopping. Like you, you need to slam every foot. Like, you're not, you're not running out of this. You're not stopping yourself. Like, snap one, two. Like, you're not doing that at all. Like, listen, here's where you need to start. And then I'm probably going to – Andrew, just because you're such a beginner, I'm probably going to nix the rest of your film. Here's where you need to start. And then you can send me film next week. All right, you need to start with this drill. Cause because I don't think just from just from watching this, Andrew, I don't think that you really have you really understand what the false accelerate is. So start with this drill. Start in per, in place. Okay, and you take this, you just work on this trigger step, right? This first violent trigger step. See how violent that is? He's slamming this foot into the ground. Violent trigger step. One, two, right? And your second step is just as hard as your first. Violent, chest over my toe. Okay, now one, two, three, and pause. Because I need to slam my feet in the ground. One, two, three, and pause, right? And then one, two, three, and get out. And then one, two, three, and get out, right? That, that transition. So you got to build up to this. See how similar this is to the route? Watch the route. See how similar that is? See how, look how that looks. See how that looks pretty similar to that? That's what we're going for. We want it to feel exactly the same. All right, I'll show you one more. This is called the false accelerate progression. All right, first of all, first of all, I guess, yeah, first of all, so Andrew, any new guys talking, like, you shouldn't even be sending me drills of the backpedal drill without sending me drills of the false accelerate progression. Why are you skipping over that? Okay, I, I put these things in there, and I'm going to make sure I'm not fucked up with how I presented these two guys. I'm opening it right now. But I, I put these things in there in a, in a, in a very specific order for, for a reason. Okay. So the reason why for false accelerate, wherever these are, I guess I don't have the false accelerate progression shit. All right. I'm bugging. I don't know. Curls and comebacks. So again, right. Curls and comebacks. So the reason why this page has this one, this one, this one first is because this one comes first, right? So I don't know why you're sending me videos of the second progression when I haven't seen videos of the first one. There's a reason why they're in order. If I need to put one, two, three to really spell it out for you guys, we can do that. But like you need to master this three-step progression, which we just watched first. Then you speed it up a little bit with the back pedal and then you bring it to the arrow drill and then you would run the route. So just understand this is a system, right? We're not just throwing shit together. Do this first. That's my advice for you, Andrew. You can come back and see us next week. Uh, uh, any other questions, Andrew, just so we have time again and, and, and some guys are just more advanced. Just just email me or, or DM me after this and, and we'll talk. But hopefully that makes sense. Um, just ho hopefully that makes sense. All right. Any questions about the order of how to do things or, or anything else, anything else confusing? Oh, you did send me the three step progression. Okay. So I'm just being a dick. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to pause on this. There's a lot to get to Andrew. I'm, I'm going to get to yours. I'm going to get to yours privately. My apologies. If you, you can, uh, I'm going to get to yours privately. My Email won't let me download anything. All right, Nolan, you're up pretty soon. Um, who else is up? Andrew, I'll, I'll, I'll email you back on everything tonight. Um, and then we can go from there. This is going to be a long bean talk, guys, so just bear with me. Nolan's up. Uh, Graham just went. Drew, you're up. Drew, you got a long one. Let me Let me...
This is pretty good right here. This is pretty good, Drew. So Drew is a, uh, you're going to be a senior at, at Maryland, right? And you're, you want to walk on? This is pretty good. So watch how his feet are matching his, so watch how his feet are matching his, uh, his foot placement is matching itself. Right? So very similar here to very similar there. And then same kind of location there. Now what I'll say, Andrew, is like you don't have a huge backyard or Drew, Drew, Andrew, I'm Drew too. So it's all the same shit. Uh, but anyway, so, uh, you don't have a very big backyard, but I, I just want you to make this more challenging. Like really run and make it hard to control yourself. Like really attack that, like really attack it. And then the more you attack it, but still get your foot right underneath you, the more you're preparing for a game situation. So really attack this shit, get your foot right underneath you, right underneath you, and then explode out. And then same quarter of explosion. Just, just speed all this up. You're getting comfortable with it, but just speed all this up. I want it to be more game-like. All right. And last thing, Andrew Cochran, um, if we have time at the end, I'll, I'll get to your, I'll get to yours at the end as well. Just keep that in mind. Drew. All right. So you same, like you guys sell this more, right? Like ask yourself, are you, are, would you fall for this? If you, if you added someone trying to cross you over, would you fall for this? Are you actually making anybody move or making anybody miss? Right. Just not, just like, you're not, you're not doing it with enough intention. Like every crossover needs to be your best crossover. Like make him fucking like you want to make you want to embarrass his family, make him fall over with every crossover. You're just kind of patty caking the ground, like low to lower on your insteps. Uh, we'll I'll show you some hip shift stuff real quick, right? But finish programs, weekly maintenance videos. So like this shit, his, this hip shift progression. Like look how he's uh, he's attacking the shit. Like fucking sell this shit, right? Like Mo kind of fucking sucks at it sometimes. He could have been better with that, but like, that's the kind of hit movement we want, right? That's the kind of hit movement we want. Okay. This is why we do the duck walk. That's why we do the duck walk. So again, watch, this is what we're looking for. Like watch, watch Keenan Allen, watch his insteps, push his hips that way. Like he's pushing his hips the opposite way. Look at, look at Dario's hips going back and forth, right? That's what you want. You want your, look at his hips go inside, right? Those hips are shooting inside on your insteps on the, watch his hips shoot opposite, right? hips are going opposite because look at where he's pushing he's pushing off that inside part of his foot pushing off the inside part of his foot knee inside his ankle it's a violent hip shift coming right back all right so that's that's what we got on the hit on the hitch the hitch situation there all right as far as the hip shift situation hitch route all right we don't run back to the ball on a hitch route so Here's a hitch rather than even coach you up on it. Just look at it because you're new and then you can go make it right. So this is a hitch. We're not running back to it. One, two, drop, pop. Two ways to run a hitch, right? So either your second inside drop, pop, right? Where you drop on your inside, pop on the outside. One, drop, pop. And I just sit right there. The ball should be on me. I'm not running back to it. The key is selling fade with your body language. Look how open Odell's strides are. Full stride, full stride, drop, pop. Okay, watch Taylor Gabriel talk about selling a feet. Everything's a feed till it's not. Head down, full stride, head down, full stride, drop pop. Right? So you gotta really fucking sell this like it's a feed. Like like it's not timid. And now Mo, if you want to use a trigger step on the outside, you snap down on the outside foot and gather, but same body language, selling fade, selling fade, snap one, two. Okay, so that's that's your hitch route. Uh pressure step progression. Let me know if that makes sense, Drew. So we saw this one already. This is the pressure regression you sent me. I assume that looked like the same one. Maybe this one's different. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Sorry, this is YouTube. Yeah, just commit to the shit. Commit to it. Your foot placement is pretty good. Just run it full speed. And if you got to go to a field so you have a bigger space, if you got to go to a field so you have a bigger space, do that. Um. Jappa has that same problem. Jappa be doing shit more aggressively to one side, less aggressively to the other side because he's got a fucking fence on that side. I like this a lot. I think your stance at start looks very good. I think you look very comfortable. Like, look at the body mechanics, guys. Chest over my toe, knee over my toe, good forward body lean, and then no explo- no wasted movement coming out. I think that's, that's about as good as it gets, Drew. That shit's money right there. So everything else, I, hopefully you have some coaching points, Drew. Um... Sorry, I was trying to flip the camera around. So everything else, Drew, hopefully you have some coaching points. Uh, watch watch the uh, 
just watch all that stuff and, and, and you'll be good. This, this is pretty good stuff for your first day. And we'll just keep going. Hit me with any questions. I like your stance and start. And just commit to everything more and be, be a little more violent with everything. All right, Logan, I do have your shit. I do have your shit. I forgot you sent me that from the LND plays. J-Day, I did have yours as well. Um, let me get to... Hey, Brody, are you on? Is Ryan Freiberger on? Because those are two guys I haven't watched in a long time. Um, and like I said, Andrew Cochran, I'm going to get to yours at the end. If you're still around. Um, let me go to Logan right now. All right, Ryan, I'm going to get to yours right after. All right, here's Logan. Logan, it's just one video, right? So, so, Andrew Cochran, are you still on? Okay, Andrew, you're still on. So look how low Logan's getting. And Logan's fairly new to this as well. He's, he's somewhat newer. See that? Are you, you guys all see this shit? This is fucking like, do I, like, all right, so here's what I'll say. Just, I haven't watched the full drill yet. Just watching this. Logan, I'm going to tell you that I feel like this might be a little bit exaggerated, but I don't want to, I don't want to make you feel, I don't want to make you feel that way. Let me watch this. Let me say you get out of this shit. Okay. I'm going to make, this is going to be a good point. I'm going to make with this video. If this looks pretty good. Yeah. This is not too low. This is excellent guys. This is probably the best fucking job I've seen at this drill. So right. All you guys. So all you guys run these fucking, these routes, these, the, the back. Pa- so Andrew Cochran, because you're a new guy, this is a great one for you to watch. I'm going to flip back in a second. The backpedal drill, the 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 three step progression drill, right? And you guys don't you don't treat it the way you don't treat your body the way it's gonna have to contort when you're running 14 yards, right? It's really easy to do this fucking backpedal drill and stay tall and stiff and just slam your feet in the ground, but you're preparing for running this route with a DB on your shoulder at 14 yards full speed. The only way you're getting in and out is like Richie James. What is what is Logan trying to do here? He's trying to make himself look like Richie James. Like it's fucking awesome. Knee yourself in the chin. He's literally coming as close as you possibly can to kneeing himself in the chin. Sinking his hips down. Watch violent hips down to the ground. Stop violent hips. Good. Two violent steps. Now let's see if these three are violent. Snap one, two. That's fucking great, bro. It is fucking excellent. You just got to really run out of this shit. So now already see, right? See how he's lower on this trigger step when he's just doing the drill than he is when he actually does the route? That's just human nature, guys. He's still pretty fucking low. That's pretty fucking good right there. Like that's pretty good pad level. But like, no, it does. This is why you want to exaggerate it so much in the drill. You're never going to actually get to that pad level when you're running the route. But the fact that you exaggerate, the fact that you exaggerate now in human nature takes over and you're not quite as focused on every detail. You're still really fucking good. And you're low. You're exploding out. Logan, let me tell you, bro, this is fucking excellent, bro. This is excellent. Just really come exploding out of this. I feel like you're, so you know what you're doing? Remember this guy's from Jawan? You're popping up. Watch your pads. See how you're popping up? See how your pads immediately shoot up right there? Instead of out. Logan, I want you to drive out. So stay low. Stay low. And instead of directing your force, instead of directing your force up through this leg, just direct it out. You know what I'm saying? Just direct it out. This is money right here, bro. Good shit, man. Again, guys, watch. This is for everyone to take notes of. Exaggerated just like this. All right, exaggerated just like this. Just don't fall, don't get in the habit of falling over. So you, this is what you're doing. Say you're falling over this. You're training your body to stop, not to fall over, not to fucking keep going, right? So slam that foot in the ground and sit back a little more. Like hips down, chest forward, but stop yourself with that trigger step. Don't roll over it. Because now look, this, this break point already, I, I know, is not going to be as good as the last one because you're... Like, see, you're, you're, get, you're, you're getting... You're, see how much you're rolling? So watch, it's crazy. It's scary how these drills translate. See how you're rolling through that? Watch how you're going to roll through this trigger step. You're not going to stop yourself on the trigger step. See how you roll through it the same way? I don't see any stoppage. I should see you slow down when you hit this trigger step. I should see you stop, but you're not. You're just rolling through it. And now you get so much weight on that third foot, it's taking you a while to get out of it. Does that make sense, Logan? So don't roll. Like you're rolling through that trigger step because you're conditioning your body to roll through it here. Stop yourself with every step. You're not rolling yourself through every step. You're stopping with every step. Slam that foot in the ground. Stop yourself. And then you can explode out. But all in all, that's still very, very good. But hopefully that coaching point makes sense. It's a very important one. Where'd you see the figure eight drill? I posted that shit on the... I forgot I posted that. (laughs) 
All right, so the biggest thing the figure eight drill works on is your foot placement, okay? So, snap down here. Second foot here, right? If I want to come right back down the stem, if I want to run right back down the stem, where does this third foot need to be? The third foot needs to be up here, right? It needs to be up here so I can push right back down 90 degree. When I get this third foot, and it's only to the side, what's going to happen? Then I'm going to have to round it to get there, right? Same shit happens on, on our curl routes. Let me see if I can find this one. If I can find this one, then you guys all owe me because I got this one of Dylan Classy, one of my guys who plays for Princeton. I'm not going to find it. But so when you guys aren't sharp out of your curl routes, it's because of this foot placement, right? This is why this, this figure eight drill is so good. Fuck me, this fucking son of a bitch. Excuse me. Okay, so I want you to turn your hips more on the second step, Logan, and get this third step really on top of you so that if you get this third step on top of you more right here, then you can come right back down the stem to work on those type of routes. So this is for all you guys, right? The figure eight drill, a lot of times when you're just running the regular curl, if you don't come sharp at a 45, it's because this foot is leaving is left behind you and, and you kind of come out an, at an angle. Let me uh, let me try to find this clip of Dremel real quick. It might be the one I could find, but hopefully that makes sense. You guys all make sense with that foot placement. All right, let me uh, break points. False accelerate is the little Dremel route in here. No, yeah, here it is. So watch this. So this is this is one of the beginning reps from Dremel. We've seen this one a lot. So see how this third step. So watch this. See how this third step is left behind him right there. It's not on top of him. And see how he has to bubble out around? Everyone see this? Instead of coming right back down the stem, or right back downhill, he's kind of like rounding it and getting stuck a little bit because he doesn't bring that third foot through. Everyone see that? Okay. Um, bum, bum, bum. Drills. Let me see if I can find that fucking arrow, uh, that, that figure eight drill. It's not here. I just erased it. Okay. Real quick. Um, no, nope, never mind. All right, I'm not gonna be able to find the other air fi figure eight I want to show you, but hopefully that makes sense. So that, that foot placement needs to be, it needs to force you in the direction you want to go. So get that more on top of you. So back with this figure eight drill, that's what this works on, right? If you don't get that foot more on top of you, you're going to have to, you have to like round around this thing, but you're doing a pretty good job. Do it. Oh, sorry. This is pretty good, Logan. Make sure you're not reaching. Good. All right, just get, I don't know what route this was. It's kind of hard to tell, but get rid of the cones. Just trust your feet. So if you got, I'm, I'm, I'm putting this together. I'm almost done with it. I'm putting out a, a break point video that kind of breaks down every point because I realize I haven't done that for you guys totally. And I'm putting together a steps video. So you guys will know how many steps take you, how many yards or how many yards the steps take you. Uh, so Logan, I want you to count your steps. Don't get rid of the cones and your break point take care of itself. All right, Logan, great job. Huge improvements. If we're all in a room together, I'd tell you all to clap it up for Logan. Uh, all right, next. Done next. All right, Jappa, we've talked so much. I'm definitely not getting to yours tonight. I will talk, get to yours. Uh, all right, Ryan, I haven't talked to you in a while. Oh, who else did I say was going to go, though? I just downloaded someone else's thing. You guys all see me? It just said, uh... oh, this is uh, this is Nolan, right? Nolan, you sent me three parts. Ryan Freiberg, I'm getting to yours in a second. Let me get to Nolan real quick. Good shit. You're comfortable there? As long as you're comfortable there, as though the sun is not fucking give, doing us any favors. As long as you're comfortable in this, right? Just And, and you're not leaning, you're, you're comfortable, you're stable. Because see this little lean right here? It tells me you may not be comfortable because you're leaning into it like, like you're falling over. I don't know if you're just anticipating or what. Just make sure that you're comfortable, Nolan. If you're comfortable, this is a very good takeoff. No wasted movement. It's, it's good. Just, just you got to be able to hold that shit for... 
You're good. You, you got to be able to hold that shit for, for a minute, bro. This one's going to be good. I can already tell. All right, so Drew, see how much more Nolan is attacking this in you to the point where he's not even sticking it clean? But I, I'd rather this, Drew, if you're still watching, I'd rather this than what you're doing because you're just conditioning yourself to play at half speed. You know what I'm saying? And I know you're new to it. But Nolan, even though it's not perfect, I'd really like you to stick this, Nolan, on one step. You're, you're doing it more so at game speed, which is, which is beneficial. We got to learn how to ride our bike full speed. We can't ride with training wheels all the time. All right, so a couple things. Let's check the foot placement. Not really reaching, right? You could be more powerful off that step, but you're not reaching. Not really reaching, okay? But look at this. I want you to get more lateral when you push off. See how these sticks get skinnier and skinnier and skinnier? It's kind of hard to tell. Nice mountains in the background, by the way. But see how this the angle gets skinnier and skinnier and skinnier here? I'm just going to let it run. Skinny, 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 skinny. You see what I'm saying, Nolan? That just tells me you're not creating enough power, it tells me you're not creating enough power off, off each step. So, so what I tell guys, what I tell guys on that, that fault, that, uh, pressure step progression drill. Yeah, no, yeah, it, it, bro, just keep, just, just keep, uh, just keep working on that. But what I tell guys, when, when you master this pressure step progression, so I don't remember one of you guys I was talking to and I was like, you guys fucking pretty much got, oh, it was Berto. Berto, I don't know if you're on, but one of our, the guy, one of our super VIP guy who pays a hundred dollars a month, uh, Birdo, I was watching his the other day and he's pretty much mastered it. Like he got it down. So now the way you make this pressure step progression harder is by just taking it flatter, right? And now it really works on like a flat slant route or whatever. Like if you can get out of this flat, like if anyone can fucking stick it vertical and, and be efficient, you know what I'm saying? Like not to say I'm not trying to demean what you're doing, Nolan, but really the true test of how, how powerful your feet are, how open your hips are is can you get flat as flat as possible off one step? So just try and go horizontal on these, on these pressure steps. Make sure you guys understand that. Again, for the sake of time, no one I gotta fly through. Good stance and start. Alright, let's just watch this real quick. Popping up just a little bit. Instead of driving out. If there's a way to keep your pads lower and focus on driving out and gaining ground just like a, sp a sprinter out of the blocks, I'd like you to. But that's not bad. Pad stay even. All right, just don't, again, just keep running. I feel like your arms are stopping just a little bit. See your arms stopping a little bit at the break. Keep them pumping smooth all the way through. There should be no change in your arms. Just keep pumping, keep pumping, keep pumping. No change in your arms at all, okay? This is the one we watch all the time. If you guys notice, right? If you guys notice this, I have a ton of different clips I can show you. I only show you the few examples because I want you to see the right examples. I don't need you to see a ton of examples. I need you to see what looks right. So look at Vincent Jackson. Watch his arms. They don't stop. See how they don't stop? That's what I want you to do, Nolan. Arms don't stop the whole time. Arms don't stop the whole time. Arms don't stop. And nothing about his arms tell me that, that, he, that he's breaking and nothing about his arms slows him down. Okay, your arms are telling me they're breaking and they're slowing you down a little bit. See that? Just see how they're like, they, you, they, you're starting to anticipate. They start to get slow before you even, they start to get slow right here. You know what I'm saying? Keep them pumping, keep them pumping, keep them pumping and just go. This is good. I mean, this is good. This is a, like, this is a great place, way, angle to, to, to film speed cuts, guys, or really any route. Cause I, it's the DB's perspective. I get to see like, what do you look like when you're running right at me? You're not really giving this away with your body language. It's pretty fucking good, right? Not, you're not leaning into it. Your eyes aren't giving it away. Your pad level's not giving it away. Just keep those arms. And that's a much better job with your arms as well. That's, that's a very good rep right there, Nolan. Real good rep. That last speed cut. This is just your stance to start again. Again, I feel like you're leaning a little bit. I think you're almost a little too hunched over, Nolan. I think you're almost too much forward body leaning. Even, even though, <clears throat> even though mechanically speaking, that's what we want. So you don't take false steps. You, you're, you need to be comfortable. You don't, you don't look comfortable to me. I need to be able to change the play. I need to be able to change the play. I need to be able to look at my coach. I need, I need the, just the things need to be able to happen while you're stable assessing information and you're not leaning. So I just think you need to get a little bit, uh, just get a little bit, a, a little bit more comfortable in that stance. So same thing here with foot placement, right guys? This is a good lesson. 
speed cut. The more that this foot is out to the side, the more I'm going to round this corner, right? Because then like if this foot's out to the side, well then this foot, this foot's going to be out to the side and it's going to be harder to snap myself back downhill. I'm never getting that angle. I'm never getting on top of the route, right? But if I get this foot more in front of me, like just get it right here, Nolan, instead of here, right? Now I can start to work myself downhill sooner. Just, just from a, a, a biological or a physics standpoint, right? This is pushing me. This is directing my force to the side, okay? And I want to, like, in a way, I want to get on top of this route because I want to finish friendly. So if you just get that foot on top of you a little bit more, it, it won't, you won't lose any speed, you know, none of that. Let's, let's check out Vincent Jackson's. I've actually never looked at Vincent Jackson's foot placement on this. See how that's, like, more? See how he's not, it's not out to the side at all? See how it's in front of him? Like, you know, like he's going with so much speed, it's different, but like not, don't, don't, just not out to the side, just a normal stride length in front of you. And then you can kind of curl around that shit, if that makes sense. Just get that foot a little bit more in front of you. Boom, just straight, just straight out in front of you, just like it would if you were still running, not out to the side at all. And, and it'll, it'll help you a little bit. Okay, so you're reaching and just a tad on this on this trigger. So see how much of a reach that is? Feet are leaving the ground, right? You want to slam down. So you your leg doesn't want to really extend past like right here. And then you want this leg to go down, not like so much out. Okay? Because then what happens is because you're you're spending so much time gathering on this first step, you're not spending any time slamming the second foot into the ground. You're just catching yourself with both feet. You're just catching, catching, and now there's a lot on the third step. Slam this first foot down. Slam the second foot down, and then that third foot is going to be more powerful. You're not getting any power off the third foot because you haven't stopped your momentum enough. There's still too much momentum. So look, you get nothing off the third foot, and then you just stay in place. Does that make sense, Nolan? So like, just really snap down more. It's down, not out. Like you're still you're reaching, and like I need right now. Your force needs to be start being directed down, and it's still going forward. It's still it's still running vertical. Does everyone understand this? Let's look at Richie James's foot right here. Let's look at Richie James's foot. Yeah, so here's a great question. All right. So what should I think of first when I'm doing this? Because I know what the right thing is. I'm doing a million things. So you should be thinking more generally. And, I, and this is one of my faults as a coach because I'm a very detailed guy. I love attention to detail. I think the details matter. You should just be thinking about being explosive, like being powerful. All you should do is think about being powerful through your steps. That's all you should be thinking about. Powerful with my steps. That's it. General statements. Like don't think about, fuck, I can get this foot and turn it here. And like, I give you those details so you know you have physical things you can take back and work on. And and a, 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 if I just say, like, I don't, what would I, I don't even know how to coach any other way. Like, what would I say? Fucking, your transition needs to be smoother. Your transition needs to happen faster. Like if I said general shit like that, you don't have a specific step that you can now go focus on that's going to change your game. So that's why I like talking in detail. But that means you can't detail your brain out. You can't make yourself fucking freak out with all these details. You need to just think about being powerful. I think for you, Nolan, and for most people, if you think about maximizing the power out of each step, your body will catch up. The body mechanics will happen naturally because your, your brain is telling you to do something different. So you don't have, you, you can't tell your brain, stop at a 42 degree angle and it's going to do it. But then we can look at it afterwards and say, look, it's a perfect 42 degree angle, but you need to be thinking in more general terms about power, slam my feet into the ground and stop myself power and let your body take over. Like, like the other thing with you guys is Nolan, you've done this, what, 16 times. If you've done it a lot, you've done it 106 times since we've met, like you've done it no times. You need to do it 10,000 times before it becomes second nature. So like the other thing is you guys try to. You guys try to perfect everything too quickly. Just, just let it happen, right? Just go play football and worry about being explosive and worry about being powerful and just let it happen. Don't, don't try to, 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 there. I froze there. Don't try to learn how to be a great receiver in one day. Just let, just, just focus on being an athlete and let me focus on you being a receiver, if that makes sense. Like, like you, if you were actually playing for me on the field, your job is to play hard. Nothing else. There's literally nothing else I ask you to do. Just play hard and pay attention. That's the same shit, right? Just fucking be powerful and like I'll teach you all the other all the other little
all the other all the other little little steps. On to part three, Nolan. Hopefully that helped. Yeah, so this is gonna be the same stuff. Does that make sense to you guys on what to think about during this shit? Think about general shit like being powerful. Never think about speed. Rarely, because then you end up rushing shit. Mostly focus on power, getting all my cleats in the ground. So again, you're just reaching a little bit too much. Nice little drill here. You're just reaching a bit too much to so slamming down, and I need more power off that second step. Like, see, you're not you're not pushing off that third step at all. You're not getting any power out of it. Like, I should see a real acceleration, a burst out of this, and then get this get this this foot in front of me here, burst. And get this foot in front. That's why I talk about driving out and not popping up. Because if you drive out, you can get this foot in front. And that's how I gain ground and run out of my break. I literally posted this shit today on fucking, uh, on Sanu. Right? So, like, he's running through it. But even, it's very hard to do. He's using a tight break, Right? But see the more, see how he's running through this? Like the more I can get this, this next foot, I break and I need this next foot in the ground in front of me as much as possible. But the key is getting it down quick and just running out of it. Like just run out of this shit. He doesn't do a great job being powerful off that shit, but he's just running, 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 running. His feet never stop. All right. So either, either powerful or your feet never stop. Like, like Dremel's kind of that way too, right? Like watch Dremel. This doesn't look like Richie James, but his feet never stop. Right, like he's not stopping himself on a dime the way Richie James is. He's still kind of like rounding it right here. Right, like it's not powerful enough that like that's to be more in front of me. But the bottom line is he he never stops running out of it. Never stop running out of it, and that's that's the other part. Okay, things to think about. All right, Nolan, I'm moving on. Hopefully that helped. If I if I got more shit, I got to answer for you. Just just DM me. I, I just you know just want to make sure we get everybody here. Ryan Freiberger. Ryan, there's another one, one more. So Ryan, we have 111, 35 seconds. That's the only video you sent me or you sent me another one? Eleven oh nine. where's 11.09? Here we go. Okay, so there's 111, and here's 1109. All right, let's watch this shit. Oh, all right, everyone pause real quick. I, I got to do something for uh, for Nolan. Um, routes, individual routes, stick route. I hope I have this organized. If I don't have this organized, I got to go find it for you. Yeah, I do. All right, Nolan wanted to see this route. Keen Allen, stick route. Right here. See him in the slot? A little hezzy. Stupid way of playing this, right? But they obviously wanted to just, they bracketed him, wanted to protect the inside. So he plays heavy, heavy inside leverage. Something, something about tendencies probably. Uh... Something about tendencies. Approach, hezzy, hezzy, uh, break out. Right? And like what this does. By being so patient, okay, by being so patient, it just holds everyone in their place, right? He's got plenty of room right here, but by being patient, by pushing his depth, he's got to sit here. The safety's got to sit back there. And this corner who's out there is still preoccupied with the other receiver. So, like, patience is huge versus zone coverage. Whenever you're too fast versus zone, you're just running away from a guy who's not covering your zone anyway and running yourself into the guy that is covering your zone. The more patient you are, the more time I spend in his zone, the more that the next guy's going to forget about me. But then when I leave his zone, he's not going to chase me. Is that common sense? Make Is that making sense to you guys? The more time I spend in his zone and then leave suddenly, the more open I'll be. Because I'm occupying him and then leaving his zone. But while he's being occupied, this guy thinks, oh, he's got him. Let me get my eyes somewhere else. And then they, oh, they both leave. The more patient you can be versus zone coverage in general, the more open you'll be. That's not always the case, but in general. I don't want to see you running a fucking fade ball versus cover three and say, hey, coach, I was running slow. You told me to be patient. None of that shit. But this kind of stuff, patient. And now look, it opens up the Red Seas for you. Because Joe, like if he comes too fast, if he just speed cuts, if Keenan just speed cuts us, 
right? Let's say he just speed cuts right now and he goes. He's going to catch it right here. And this guy's going to fall off and make a tackle. The corner's going to fall off and make a tackle. Or they're going to chase and pursue. Okay? But by being patient, he opens up this lane for him. Patient. Now look at this void. If he would just stay on his fucking feet. If he would just stay on his feet, he's got a nice fucking lane to pierce through there. All right, Nolan. Hopefully that helps. All right, my guy Ryan. Last time I remember watching you play, Ryan, you were pretty good. You haven't sent me film in a while. Oh! Look at this fucking speed drop, guys. So, first thing I'll say, Ryan, just slight. Very, very slight. It's the first thing I noticed. Good pads. Oh, sorry. You can't see it. Good pads. Good pads. Good pads. Good pads. Starting to raise up just a little bit. Just very, very slight. Like, you're, you're pretty good. They're very, very slight. All right? You see this, Ryan? Just that slight lean back. Just keep that chest forward the whole time if you can. Drop, break, drive line. Guys, fuck, man. You guys are making me happy. Between Ryan, who else made big improvements there? I'm already forgetting. Logan. Drop. So everyone see this? Drop, break, drive line. Now, here's what I'll tell you. You got to snap that line foot in the ground a little a little more violently. You, you Line means I'm flat and friendly on a line right now. No more drifting. Right? So your break step happens at the 39. Or your drop step. Drop, break, drive line. You're taking... Three full yards to curl, which I'm honestly okay with. Taking three full yards to round the corner. I'm honestly okay with it. But then you got to finish downhill right here. Like you, you take three full yards, you got to drop, break, drive, line, and snap this shit in the ground so that you cut. See how you're still drifting here? Now you're taking four yards around the corner. I need to come immediately downhill. Immediately downhill right there. All right. So, Ryan, hopefully that makes sense. It's a really good fucking, that's really, really, really good. Good speed into it, good body control. That's some good shit. Good stride length. Guys, great stride length. Watch watch, watch uh, Ryan. Really good stride length. Sell and fade, sell and fade, sell and fade. Drop, break, drive line. This one's better. This one's better. More forward body lean, more vi- more sudden hip, sh- hip sync. Look at your pads. Forward, forward, forward. Sitting back just a little bit again, but not a ton. This is this is better. You get you're, Everything's underneath you a little bit more. That one, that's right underneath you. You were reaching a little bit more on this one. So you're like kind of hopping, you're kind of leaving the ground at it. Like not, it's still not bad. Don't, I'm not saying it's bad by any means, but you're doing a better job just sinking these hips and getting sharper right away on this one. See, not quite as extended. Do you see what I'm saying? Now you're sinking over yourself and you're sharp. That one's really good. That one's really, really, really fucking good. Very impressive. My guy, drop, break, drive line, drop, break, drive line, drop, break, drive line, drop, break, drive line. Say it over and over until it becomes rhythmic. It becomes second nature. Now you're speed cutting. So you're taking too long to round the corner. It's because you're reaching for that. Right? I should not be leaving my feet. Again, let's watch Vincent Jackson. He's not leaving his feet. Like, you see what I'm saying? But there's one foot grounded. Like, he's barely, but he's he's slamming that foot in the ground. He's not leaping for it. He's coming down on it because he's changing direction. Like, he's, he's, he's coming down on top of that leg. It's just a stiff leg, right? But he's not leaping. He's not reaching for it, okay? Is that, I hope that, that slight difference makes sense. Whereas you're, you're not, you're reaching for this to the side of you. I, I need to be a little bit more within your framework, and because you're exaggerating it so much, see how long this transition is? You gotta, because you're reaching for it so much, now you're bending your knee. You're spending all this time without this second foot in the ground. I need this, this, you're not going anywhere, right? And whenever we spend time on one foot, guys, it means we're not moving. Does that make sense? You can't go anywhere unless you get that next foot in the ground. So, so you're spending so much time leaping and reaching and rolling and you're on this foot for so long, you don't go anywhere. Watch it full speed. Huh. And you can see that little, that little, you can feel it. Right, you can feel this little hiccup here where you kind of just stall and your momentum stops a little bit because you're spending all this time on one leg. So just don't reach. There's nothing exaggerated about a speed cut. Just when that when that instant when that outside foot hits here, because you're running a dig. So what is this? Your fourth outside, third outside, one, two, three. So when that third outside hits, just don't reach for it. Stay on top of it. Stay over the top of this. And then it's break, drive, line. You like you just need you just have so you're you're a little bit out of control. So you need to really slam that foot in the ground, really get that line foot in front of you, and it almost happens so fast. It's almost like you're surprised this line foot hits. You're spending so much time on that break foot, and you just don't get enough enough out of that. But you're close, bro. 
Whoops. You got way faster there. Same thing. You're just like tripping over yourself because I think you're sticking that. Well, now this is a foot placement issue. It's way too far out to the side. You're not on top. This is what I was talking about before, Ryan. See how when I see how see how much to the side Ryan is here? And now he kind of like is is drifting, right? We want to stay on top of that. Get that foot right in front of you. And then you just need to be more in control. If you're more in control with this break step, everything else will happen. But like you're 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 inconsistent with the location and the stride length leading up to this. So now here, you're like rolling over it too much, and now your momentum's taking you. You're not changing direction. You're not breaking violently. You're just oozing into it. I had to break and change direction. But you're not far at all, right? Hopefully that makes sense. Far at all. Did you send me something else? Those That was it, correct? That was it. All right, Magnus, are you on? Magnus, if you're on, you're coming next, bro. So I hope you're fucking on. Ryan, you good? That makes sense. Andrew Cochran, are you still on? Uh, Ryan, send me the comebacks. I don't see them. Send them to me right now, and I will. Uh, I'll pull them up. All right, Andrew Cochran, you're coming up soon. So for those of you guys who don't know, so this is Magnus. Magnus plays for one of the teams in Germany that I visited. So this is kind of cool. And I was very impressed with Magnus during that. Um, don't drag that back foot behind. This is pretty good. I'm not sure if you're here, Magnus, because you haven't responded. So I'm just going to roll through this quick. But that was pretty good. Just don't drag that, that back foot behind. 10 yard hitch so uh real quick damn this isn't gonna let me all right so all you germans have different uh, all right magnus you're on so first of all this thing won't let me play all right i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to restart that magnus i'm gonna i'm gonna have to email you on some of this feedback but the pressure to progression just don't drag that foot behind okay uh Hitch, the word hitch tells me, the word hitch tells me that you are not running back to the ball, right? So anytime you're running back to the ball, so, and it also tells me it's like six yards. So don't, just don't call it a hitch is what I'm saying. You said 10 yard hitch left, 10 yard hitch right. Maybe that's what your team calls it, then fine. Then, then, then do what they tell you. But I would call that a stop. And if it's 10 yards, you're not running back to the ball. So let me just briefly, it's kind of hard to see that film. Uh, so let me just go through this for you quickly, Magnus. And then I'm going to move on to uh, Andrew Cochran and all the other guys that need to be. So, again, a hitch, right? We can watch this real fast. Uh, ba, ba, ba. So, this is this is what you're running, right? And you don't need to do – so, this is this is Juwan running a nine-yard stop. Huh, drop, pop. And you're just stopping right there because the ball's on you, right? So, that would be drop, pop. Everyone see that? This is really fucking smooth. Drop, pop. That's your 10-yard hitch. I think you went third inside. One, two, drop, pop, right? Third inside, drop, pop to get to a nine to 10-yard stop. Sorry, I'm not showing the whole thing. One, two, drop, pop. See how sudden he is, right? So that's, 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 a, that's a stop or a hitch, right, Magnus, when you're not running back to the ball. Now, if you are running back to the ball, that now I call that a curl or you could call it a hook. Uh, that's when you would do this. Right, that's when you would do this, where you are running back. Right, not the greatest break point, but still, you can see kind of what I'm talking about. I would just call it a ten yard curl, then, if that's the case. But I, it's probably a twelve yard curl, Magnus. Twelve yard curl. But anyway, sorry, I, I'm I'm just I'm really coaching you on some shit that doesn't really really matter. Snap one two. Right, and just keep running back. That foot location. Snap one two. Let me try and pull up your video one more time. It's just it's just hard because it's like a different fucking. It's a different type of file, so I got to – The biggest thing I saw there, and it's hard to see. I'm going to have to get back to you via email. Get that third foot in front of you, Magnus. So your snap one, and then this foot's kind of to the side. 
So if you're snap one side, you're going to move to the side, right? If I go snap one, boom, here, I can come back downhill. So just get that third foot in front of you downhill. All right, it's 10 already. Uh, so Magnus, hopefully you're good. Let me know if that works, if that helps. Um, don't drag that foot behind on the pressure step progression. Hopefully that helps with the break point. Um, I, I will get back to you if you need more. Uh, Tyler Lloyd, are you on? Eddie, are you still on? Jay Day, are you still on? Tyler Lloyd, so here's what I'm getting tonight before I go to sleep and email the rest of you guys. I'm getting Tyler Lloyd if he's on. I'm getting Brody if he's on. I'm getting Nikolai if he's on. Fuck, Nikolai, Justin Engel. Let me know Let me know who's on between Eddie, Jay Day. So Jay Day, you're here. Let's go to yours right now. Tell you what, I need a better system for when fucking 75 people decide to run film. That I fit, That's what I learned today. That I did not have the fucking system down for 30 people sending film in. All right. Jay Day, here we go, baby. Didn't you say you were just getting over an injury or am I lying? Was that not you? So this is good for a tight break, right? So see your steps. Drop one two, three. So for a tight break, that's really good. Drop one, two, three. Drop one, two, three. Right? So that's not bad for a tight break. Now I need you to run out of this shit. You're just kind of jogging. Like I need you to really run out of this, especially this one. Run out of that shit. Again, right? You, if you saw the recent post from Sanu, I'll play it for you one time because it's got a good little fucking verbal message in it. All right. Uh, you know what was fun the other day? Oh, yeah, ankle. That's what it was, Jay Day. Going through my notes was fun the other day, guys. I want to do that with you again. Listen to Mo. As you see it on my routes, I don't stop running. Whenever I break, I don't stop running. That's what creates separation. People think creates separation is because how fast you can stop. You know? It's how fast you can stop and get back, uh, get out. All right, so just look. Just look, Jay. Watch, he's running a tight break as well. Watch the way he's he's running out of this. Running out of that. Drop one, two, three, running out of it, right? I need you, and I. you just said something about dog holes. Well, I understand we're quarantined, so whatever. But just do your best to run out of it. And get your chest over your toes more and snap your, your body into it more. That's not bad. Now, what I would say is I would prefer to you to use a false accelerate. You should be snapping down your right foot. Your snap one, two on your right foot. So you should not be dropping on this left foot. It should be the next right foot, snap one, two, and try to eliminate a step. But maybe you maybe you decide you don't want to use a false accelerate and you just like the tight break, then that's really good. Uh, it's kind of a personal preference thing for someone. All right, so stand up a little bit more and it's 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 less of a twist, guys. Like, like see how your hips aren't going anywhere? I mean, they kind of are. You're not you you have good hips, I can tell just from looking at this. All right, but but it's it's not so much of a squat. Like get into a football position. You'll never play football like this. Here's the duck walk. Okay, that's where you are in releases, right? You're wide base, and you go side to side, like in releases, right? That's where you go, and just push your hips back and forth. He's not twisting. He's not falling over himself. He's not crouching down. He's just pushing his hips back and forth. You can watch Carlton. He's six foot seven. Just pushing his hips back and forth. Hips going back and forth. Hips going back and forth. This is this kid's first time ever doing it. He's a basketball player, new, new football player. He's going to be an NFL tight end, this kid. On the inside part of my foot, knee inside my ankle. I, I push from here and it creates this violent hip shift. Understand the mechanics of this, right? I push off subtly. Down here in my ankle, it shoots through my knee and creates a violent hip shift side to side. Watch his hips. See how so he's, it's effortless down bottom. All right, guys? It's effortless down bottom. But look, this guy weighs 270 pounds. He's six foot six. He's a tight end. Back and forth. Look at those hips. Back and forth. Back and forth. All right, here's Dario. He's the best one. He's got the best hips of anybody. This kid works for me. You guys will meet Dario soon because he's going to come down here and live with me when he's done with school. Right? Wide base, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Hips shooting back.
back and forth. I'm not twisting. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not doing any of that shit. It's just pushing off and creating a violent hip shift. And it's that, right? Pushing off and creating that hip shift. That's what you're trying to do. So less twisting, more just pushing off and not quite so crouched. How's the ankle feel, Jay? Okay, this is not it either. Wrong foot up. So the whole thing's fucked up. Bro, this is the shit, right? This is like, I, I, I'm pretty, I know I was pretty fucking clear on this if you watched the video. Now you're just wasting your time because you're not paying attention to detail. You're wasting everybody's time. Okay, how are you going to speed cut if you don't have a cut? You don't have a break foot. You're just, ro- you're just running around the hoop. You're not working on a break point, right? You need to get this left foot up and it's a violent one step break step and then round the corner. Does that make sense? Like, look, this, this, is, this is important. And I know it's this way in the video and you got to pay attention to details because all this shit matters, right? His inside foot is up, inside foot is up and he's going to stick that and then round the corner, right? Because that's your break step. It's break drive line, break drive line. That's what you're working on, okay? Break drive line. So you got to get that other foot up and really work on that break step. Here's Christian, break drive line. Understand that? Uh, Instagram's going to kick me out in one minute. So we're going to restart this. So just don't move. Uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to watch this last one of J day. And then you guys can come back for another 15, 20 minutes. All right. Same thing, Jay. This is all fucked up because you're not paying attention to detail. I don't even know what's going on. You got to pay attention to this show. I'll see you in a second. We'll, we'll come back in one sec. Seth, we're going to start up again probably Sunday or Monday. Uh, tomorrow's my birthday. So I'm not training tomorrow. I'm not going to train Thursday. Uh, Friday, uh, Friday, I may or may not be back. But, but Seth, you plan on Sunday to be back training. All right. Let a few guys, a few more guys file in, and then uh, we'll get back on with Jay Day and get through everyone. Thanks, Andrew. Turning 29 in two hours. All right, so J-Day, so look, bro. And again, I get frustrated with this shit because it's little fucking, it makes me mad to know that you've been fucking doing shit wrong for so long because we're just, you know, I'm not explaining it well enough. You're not paying enough attention to detail. Thank you guys for the birthday wishes. 
All right, so Jay, this is working on one step pressure steps, changing direction this way and this way. You're stopping on your inside foot. How the fuck are you going to push off this? You got to get this outside foot in the ground. You feel me, Jay Day? So you got to step with the other foot, right? And again, pay more attention to the videos because we can't afford to waste time. Time on shit like this. Okay, and if you were if you were really playing for me, I'd fucking really rip you for this. But Jay, that makes sense. You got to stick on the other foot, just like you do here. It's not just a right foot hold, and now you push off the left foot there. So this ain't bad, right? You need to open your stride more. You need to really run, really run. Like, see how you're taking these tiny steps? Like, run. Don't reach here. Don't reach. Just run. Open your stride and run, and stick it down underneath you, right? And now run. See how? You, see how why? Like, why move it? Why are you moving this all the way to the side? Just stick it right in front of you. You don't need to do that. Right in front of you and stick it. You don't need to move this foot to the side. Right? You're reaching just a, you're reaching outside your framework just a little bit. Just stick it. Just let it fucking just just let it come naturally. Don't don't try and reach for anything. All right, this was your backwards circle drill. You coach me on this, Jay. What do you need to do better? Write it in the comments before I even respond. I'm going to pull up the next person's phone. We'll let this run one time. You coach me on this and tell me what, whether you think this is good enough and what needs to improve from it. And then I'll give you my thoughts. But I think that you already know. And if you know, then that, that, that's a good thing. It got better, actually. Let me know. Let me know what you think you need to improve on in that, and then I'll come back to it, J Day. All right, we're going to. Uh, we looked at Ryan's. Ryan, you just sent me the new shit or no? Yes. All right, let's look at Ryan's real, real, real fast. Yep, Ryan, we're pulling yours up. No, look, look at your body language, Jay. Look at your effort. It's not steps. Are you getting open with this? Let me let, tell me this. In the next three seconds, are you getting open? Does anyone ever run a route coming out high with no like? like you need to play football. You're just you're just walking through the motions. I understand it might be new to you. I understand you might be feeling it out. But uh, like, get this, guys. All right. So this, this is what I wanted to say too with with what Logan was saying. Uh, I think it was Logan. No, it was uh, Nolan. Nolan was like, "Hey, what do I think about? I'm thinking about a million things." Like. We're athletes, right? Like part of being an athlete is changing direction fast, being explosive. Like no matter what I give you with these drills, it can't take away from you being an athlete. Does that, does that make sense? Like this is only meant to enhance you. There's a learning curve. There's a one month period minimum where you f are fucked. You forget how to walk. You don't know how to fucking wake up in the morning. You can't do anything right, right? With the way I teach this shit. I, I understand there's a one month Real fucking hard learning period with a lot of this shit because it's so detailed. But but none of this should stop you from being an athlete. Just because you're getting the steps down doesn't allow you, doesn't mean you don't have to be explosive. Just because you're getting the steps down doesn't mean you come out lazy. Like being a great athlete always has to come first. If, if, if that makes sense. I know that's like counterintuitive to what I say about receiver play, but like I'm not I'm not here to, to teach you how to be an athlete. I'm here to coach you on the on the the specifics of the game. If I was here to teach you how to be an athlete, I'd be running fucking booty popping classes and speed training courses on Instagram all fucking day, and I have seven thousand clients. I'm here to teach the specifics. You know what I'm saying? So like, before we even go through this, Jay, I can't really help you until you decide to fucking go out there and compete. Because I'm gonna now give you a bunch of coaching points about shit that like all the coaching points I'm gonna give you could be fixed if you just come out there with a more competitive mentality. So I think, and and, and I'm not coming coming at you for this. Plenty of guys are like this, Jay. All you guys, right? And even if even if you're you're like, don't let it take away from your natural gifts. This is only meant to enhance your natural gifts. At the wide receiver position, when you do everything with the right technique, your natural ability is is maximized, right? But there's plenty of guys who get open and don't do everything the right way. Yeah, right, Nolan. It's all about the balance. Like there's plenty of guys who get open and take three extra steps or take two extra steps. But as an athlete, they thought like something about it was right. Maybe their steps weren't right, but their body language was, their explosiveness was, and they still won. Like it's not a science project. We are athletes first. We are physical specimens first. We are, we, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to, but hopefully that makes sense. Like 
We can never sacrifice the speed and explosion and strength and power required to be an athlete at the highest level. That can never go anywhere. Now, as you are using all those tools, I'm trying to refine them and try to make it work in a football sense. But you can't come into a drill without those things. Hopefully, hopefully that makes sense. So again, Jay, it's just your body language. Like your steps are okay. To, to quite frankly, your steps are okay. But like you're just not exploding out. All in all, Jay Day, all this film shows me is that you're not very detail oriented. If we're being honest, what, what all this film just showed me between you taking the wrong step on the on the, between you using the tight break on the cone drill here and not the false accelerate, you're lining up with the wrong foot on the speed cut drill, you're landing on the wrong foot on the uh, landing on the wrong foot on the pressure step. Like there's just a lot of little simple mistakes. You need to be more detail oriented. You you didn't come into this workout with the right mindset. You're just kind of like throwing shit together. You're not, you're not, you're not in here to max, like you're not maximizing every step. You're not fucking playing hard. You're not really paying attention to the details of all the content I've put out because you're doing too much shit wrong that other guys haven't done wrong. Okay. So, so a, like your, your mentality, your mentality just needs to fucking like change Jay. But like, this is not it. No, like I, I'm very fucking clear in these drills that it's two steps. It's nothing. I've never shown a video of you just taking one step. And just hanging it there. Ever. In the history of me fucking creating content. I've done a lot of it. I've never made a mistake and shown anybody just doing that. Ever. Right? So, I can't even assess your talent. I can't even assess your steps. I can't even assess these things until you come ready to play. So, that, that's my feedback for you, Jay. You, you, the next time you send me film, you got you to gotta be more ready to play. More attention to detail. If that means, Jay, you got to DM me during the week. And, and so we can get this right. Let's get this right. Alright? So, your task... Jay, your task is to do all these drills again. Do all the, yeah, yeah. So, there, so let me, Logan's bringing up some coaching points. Let me not just like screw you on the coaching points here. Like, so, so let's, let's, let's better off, better than watching yours. Let me just show you Juwan's. Okay. Let me just show you Juwan's and then, and then we're going to move on from this. Okay. Um, but, but hopefully that makes sense. And I'm not fucking trying to make you feel bad. I'm just trying to be very frank with you about how this needs, how this needs to be. All right. So watch Juwan's progression. Like, look at his and compare it to yours. See how violent and aggressive he is? Look how much he's going to explode out of this shit and run out. He's maximizing every step. He's running at full speed. He's competing, right? I don't show up to this workout and ask him to compete. I don't. If Listen listen to me, guys. I'm at a place now where I'm lucky enough to be training great, good enough athletes. If I have to show up to a workout and ask you to compete, I will leave the workout. I, I'm above that. I'm past that now. When I was a fucking high school coach, yeah, I got to teach you how to compete. And, and, you know, it's not to say you guys are on all different levels. I'm not here to teach you how to compete. But, like, for in a virtual environment where I can't be there with you, you I can't motivate you. You got to have the motivation and the effort and all that shit. But hopefully seeing Juwan made a little bit of a difference. Um, and I think that's that's helpful for all you guys, right? Like, the, my biggest flaw as a coach is I get too detailed. It get, makes you guys think too much in your head. And it takes away from your game. And it's something I'm working on constantly. Like, ask Luke. Luke, who just joined... I don't know if he's still on, but like my, the other day we had a training session and a bunch of dudes, uh, Luke came on quick and left quick. Uh, but anyway, the other day we had a training session and one kid told me, he was like, yo man, when we have fun, like that's when we're at our best. And the, the last four years I've coached receivers, it's always a loose group and we have fun because they know that, you know, if I need to whoop them into shape, I will, but just be relaxed, be loose and just fucking, and go for it. Good, good, Jay. I'm glad that helped. I'm glad that helped. Keep doing your thing and then fucking send me some film later on. All right, last one for Ryan, running some comebacks, as I've been told. See a little false step? It's slight. Your stance looks really good. I don't know why that's happening. Don't pick that front foot up at all. Just roll off that front foot. Oh, look at the kid. So similar to everybody else, Ryan, you're reaching a tad. You're really not reaching a ton, though. It isn't bad. You just need to stop yourself more. You need to sink your hip. It's your hips. It's slamming your hips into the ground. So, so what I've started to realize too the last few days, 
coaching this uh, a few ways. I talk all about kneeing yourself in the chin, chest over your toes, all that stuff, right? Because that is most important because the biggest tendency for you guys is to sit back. Someone like Ryan, like Ryan, you're getting pretty advanced at this now. You're, you, you've done this for, what, two months maybe? You've gotten down the chest over my toes. So now it, it, it's a fine line between kneeing yourself in the chin and kicking yourself in the ass. Everyone see this? I am kneeing myself in the chin, but I'm also kicking myself in the ass because I'm sticking those hips to the ground, right? It's both at the same time. It's my chest down and my hips back and my butt down, right? So it, it's got to be both. It's got to be violent hips to the ground. See how his hips are stopping him? See what I'm saying here, guys? What? His hips are what's stopping him. Right, His leg m- might be going out, but his hips are sinking down. It's all about the direction of your hips. When you go, Ryan, like when you do this, your hips are going to be rolling this way still. His hips are coming straight down. Your hips are going to be rolling over the top. That's why, And that's all you guys. That's why you can't stop yourself. Down. Everyone see that difference? Down. Sinking his hips down. But that chest is still over my toe. The biggest reason I focus on your chest first is because if I just start talking about sinking your hips, then that's when you guys lean back and sit back in the chair and you lose your aggressiveness. The first key to this false accelerate body language is your chest over your toes forward. That's the first key to the body language. But now as we all start to advance, like all you guys are are getting comfortable with this now, especially you, Ryan, now it's about those hips down to stop myself. Nolan, Nolan, you're in the same fucking boat. You're the same exact way, Nolan. Your, Your hips don't sink down, Nolan. They roll over the top. And that's why you guys have trouble stopping yourself, okay? See what I'm saying here? I don't see those hips down the same way I see in, in Richie's. It kind of lags on me, but but you see that? Ho- hopefully you see what I mean, okay? Just, just those hips down more. Whoa. So this is a great example. See this? This foot is hitting and your hips are staying at the same level. Right? It's not about just your feet, guys. It's about your hips. Your, that, this is it. Your hips are staying at the same level. So yeah, are you, are you, are, have we trained your feet well enough that you're getting out with three steps? Like, like yeah, yeah, you are. But it's going to be way easier when you sink your hips. You know what I'm saying? And when you get those hips involved, violent hips to the ground, like that's when you fucking come out sharp. Violent hips to the ground. Sink those hips. Sit down in the chair. Okay? And 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 snap one, two, and sink. Snap one, two, and sink. All you guys can see this. Let's, let's watch. This is a really good rep to watch. So let's watch Ryan one more time. Who, look, he's getting out. Snap one, two. And he's getting out in three steps. Like, don't get me wrong. That's pretty fucking good. Getting out in three steps. But it's not sharp. And he's reaching for it a little bit. He can be faster, right? We, we need this. To, even though we're taking three steps, I need these three steps to happen even faster. And that's going to happen with his hips. Watch his hips. Hips are even the whole time. His hips never come down. Hips are even the whole time. Watch Richie, right? This is the key to this. This, this is the fucking finishing touch. We've mastered the footwork. Now it's those hips sinking down. Not his pad level raising up, not his chest, it's his hips, right? Chest over my toe, but hips. See the hips drop. Watch the hips drop. That is the key to stopping myself. I can take three steps, but it's those hips stopping myself. Sink, snap one, two. That's the key to these false accelerate. I feel good about that. I think that helped a lot of people. Hips, guys. Hips, 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 hips. Really think about that shit this week. All right, Ryan, you're good to go. Great job. You look good. Um, Tyler Lloyd, are you here? Justin Engel, are you here? Eddie Ray Ronco, are you here? Uh, Andrew Cochran, are you still here? Brody, you're here. I'm going to go to Brody real quick. Brody sent me 10 videos. And Brody, you said you've never played football before, right? Actually, you know what? You know what? Because of that, Brody, I'm probably, well, I'm, you're in the same boat as Andrew. I just, it's tough. If you, if you're, if you're real beginners and like, like Andrew, you just have never done the drills, Brody, you've never really played football. So it's tough because, uh, you know, sometimes it just doesn't relate to everyone else. Um, 
Hey, Andrew, real quick. Um, can you, uh, can you see if you can email me all those clips in one file, in one email? Just see if you can do that quick. And if you can, I'll definitely watch them. If not, I might just have to do them individually to you. All right, Brody, let's, let's take a look and don't be embarrassed if I decide to just say this is the last clip we're looking at. I'm just going to see. Yeah, we got to fix your arms in the stands. You look pretty fast though. So your arms should be relaxed right here. I'm going to send you a whole email, bro. It's just easier. There's, there's too much for us to go over. Too much for us to go over. And it's your first first evaluation, Brody. Let me let me send you an email. Okay, it's just the smartest thing to do rather than spending everyone's time on this. Um, hopefully that makes sense. And just keep taking notes from everybody else. All right. Andrew, see if you can send me that. Eddie, you're here. Okay, let's go to Eddie. Um, hey, Brody, if you don't hear from me tonight... Text me tomorrow, DM me tomorrow, and tell me I'm an asshole, and I'll get it to you. I promise. All right, we're going a few more. I mean, I guess I'll probably just get everyone in at this point. All right. Relax your hands, Eddie. All right, first thing you're doing. You're going up to come down. You're going up to come down. You're going up to come down. So if I'm a DB, right? If you guys saw the live, we had, there was a DB coach on the regular side of the hustle live. And he said, all DBs look for are indicators, right? And right now I know you're not running by me. Right now I know you're not running by me. Does that make sense? Right now I know you're not running by me. So keep that chest down. That's pretty good. I like that sink right there. I like that sink. So this is this is drop break line. This is a square break, drop break line, and then a speed cut, and then drop break line. Ooh, little, nice little drill right here. Some of you guys are getting fucking fancy with these drills. So you reach in right here, right? I think I think you've been here, Eddie. You've heard the coaching points on the, on the speed cut all night about how we don't want to reach. I showed the Vincent Jackson. Let me know if I need to show those again. But you shouldn't be reaching. This is why I hate cones, guys. This is why I don't like drills like this. Now I do drills like this too. I'm not saying you're like fucked up for doing this. That's why I hate. I just I do them, and I see these habits, and I say this is more the drills' fault than it is Eddie's fault. <laughs> you're running this cone like there's no steps to count. You can't get into a rhythm, so of course you're gonna reach to get to that cone. Like of course, it's just human nature. If you get the cone out of there and you just count steps, then this foot, this foot should be landing instead of reaching for it. It should be it should just be coming down right here, and you should be pushing off, right? But you're worried about getting to a cone instead of counting your steps, and it just fucks everything up. So like this is just why this is why I hate cones. Snap one two. I, I don't recommend. So that was that was You had the you had the reaching problem today on the arrow drill, Andrew said. Yeah, you guys never want to reach. Reaching is never good. Dragging your foot is never good. Like two things that a lot of receivers do, you never want to do. I'm a big fan of drills <clears throat> that have multiple breakpoints in them. I might include two breakpoints at most. Um, <clears throat> maybe I'll include two because they build into each other. But like that one, Eddie, like you did a square break, then you did a speed cut, then you did a false accelerate, like. I'm mixed. Part of me is like, all right, let's test to see how good your footwork is on the fly, right? Foot on the fly, make your body adapt and shit. But I, I don't know. I can see the merit in it. I'd rather you just focus on the mechanics of one break point at a time and let it build into itself. That's why I like the pressure, like the progressions, right? One, two, one, two, three, and hold. One, two, three, and get out, right? And then I speed it up a little bit. Then I speed it up a little bit. Like I'm a big believer in like part, part, whole. This mechanic, this mechanic, all right, now I run the whole route. This little part, this little part, now I do the whole thing. Like, that's that's my philosophy on that. Okay. Uh, I might call it on you guys soon. So I can have a life. So you want to know why you're reaching on your speed car? Because you're reaching right here. You're leaping for this shit. 
leaping for it, literally leaping for it. And that's why you're stopping on one step. If you can't are wrong. No, you're not going to be able to stop on one step when you're fucking jumping for it. You got me, Eddie? We don't want that. Don't reach. Just right underneath yourself. Right underneath yourself. This is why you're reaching on these speed cuts too. You're literally transitioning your body to do this. You're jumping for these. This is just th- this this rep right here was bad. This is just building bad habits. Way more under control. Everything's underneath you. Again, right? Same thing. Right now, look, look, it's a real sloppy rep because nothing's transitioning because you're out of control with everything, right? So you're reaching and falling over. Reaching and falling over. And now you're not even coming close. Now you're just like kind of staying upright. Now you take f- some steps and some not steps. Like this needs to be rhythmic. One, two, hold. One, two, hold. I'm not falling over myself. And now like the point, guys, the point is if I can stop myself on one step, then I can take that same power and transition myself in one step. But you're doing neither. You're just roll, you're just rolling over yourself in one. You're not doing anything in one step. All right. So like you got to challenge yourself to really stop. And now you know what it's like to stop on a dime. Right? That you're doing the same shit, you're stopping on a dime, then you're just running out of it when it when it's a speed cut. Alright, so fix that, Eddie. Hopefully that makes sense. And watch watch guys, watch some of these videos. So some of you guys, what I've noticed too, we're week five into this, week six into this. I posted the weekly maintenance drills. For some of you guys who have been here from the beginning, I posted the weekly maintenance drills months ago. You know what I'm saying? And so I think you feel like you you know them. Don't don't ever get complacent with that. Go back and rewatch all these videos, pay attention to the details. If you have questions on details, DM me. Look at the Instagram captions. The Instagram captions have a lot of have a lot of coaching points in them. Thankful to our guy Jappa for that. Uh, so read the Instagram captions of the weekly maintenance. You'll see coaching points. Watch the videos very carefully. The details of the videos. All right. It's more explosive. More explosive. You're just kind of prancing. You're just kind of like boom, 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 boom. It's, it's actually not bad. It's actually not bad. I like that you're exploding out of that shit. Ooh, ooh, this is a nice fucking drill right here. Fuck yeah, Eddie. This is a nice little drill. Power, 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 sprint. Stick it. Uh, fuck yeah. Hell yes. Fucking great job. I'm stealing this from you right now. You just made the silent hustle better today, Eddie. I'm stealing this from you immediately. It's a nice fucking progression. This is what I mean by progressing, guys. So we're building into a pressure step, right? So let me, foot location, foot location, foot location, right? That's what you got to be thinking about, though. I can tell, Eddie, you're not because this first one is wide. Right underneath you. Everything's got to be right underneath you. Underneath me, underneath me, underneath me. Now get sprinting and right underneath me, stick it. I like, see, like, this is a good pressure step. You're not doing this on the drills. It's a good pressure step. You're not reaching, you're out. You got to emulate this on all the drills, too. You're obviously capable. This is what I mean. You're capable. It's just your attention to detail. It's not there. Oh, I like this fucking drill. So it reminds me of this one, which you guys have seen before. And again, I got to get the fuck out of here. I'm, I spent too much time with you guys. I need to go do something. So watch Dremel, right? Here's the difference between you and Dremel, Eddie. Watch Dremel match his feet right underneath him. I don't like that he's dragging his feet, but right underneath him. Right underneath him. He's not reaching. Right underneath him. Right now, he's going to run, stick, matching his feet. That's the key. That's the key. Matching that foot placement. Get running. Stick. Yeah. I like this drill. I think you did it. I think this drill was the best thing you sent me. Hopefully all the, hopefully that all helps. Uh, who else did I say I was going to get to? I think I'm going to email the rest of you guys because I'm trying to be out of here. Birdo, I'm going to get to all your shit. Brody, I got to email you. Uh, Andrew C. Andrew C., last thing. Just, just email the, all those to me one more time. Just send me all those clips one more time. I'm going to send you an email back with all of them. Uh, if you're watching, Jappa, Tyler Lloyd, Justin Angle, Nikolai, uh, Andrew C., Brody. I didn't get to all you guys, and it's been an hour and a half. Fucking, that's how it goes. But anyway, I'm going to go uh, I'm gonna go chill out, and I'm going to watch this film tonight. I will email you back with feedback. Um Andrew, if you if you have to send them individually, send them individually. Whatever you gotta do to get them to me again. I just I just lost them. I just don't know where all your emails just went.
Yeah, just said they all went. All right, but that's all I got for you guys. I appreciate it. All love. I'll see you next Tuesday. Peace.